This is the Larson Davis NMS 044 Noise Monitoring System RV50 Setup Video. I will show you how to configure the RV50 for remote use. I assume that you have purchased the NMS 044 system and have the LD settings already loaded. I do talk later in the video about doing this manually. First you need to turn off the system by using the power button on the sound advisor. When all the lights are off, use your number 2 Phillips head screwdriver to remove the RV50 from the case plate. You will want to use the smaller number 0 Phillips head screwdriver to remove the SIM door on the gateway. Insert your SIM card into the top slot, slot number 1. Screw the door closed and then remount the gateway to the case plate. Now the Ethernet port has been disabled for power saving reasons, so we are going to connect to the RV50 using a micro USB cable. You are provided an extra cable for this use. You will want to unplug the current one and use the extra cable to connect the RV50 directly to a PC. Turn the system back on using the power button on the sound advisor. Open up a Chrome browser and go to the URL shown. This will open up the ACE Manager. Use the username and password shown. If the password doesn't work, this is a good sign that you need to load the LD settings, and I talk about that later in the video. Navigate to the WAN cellular tab, open up SIM slot 1, and then network credentials. Enter the APN provided by your cellular provider. The one shown here is an example. Your APN is specific for your provider and location. Then apply and reboot. This will take a couple of minutes to complete. When it is finished, log in again. Under the Status tab, Home and Network State, you will see that your gateway is network ready. This is also where you'll find your IP address. Record this address so you can use it to connect remotely. You'll want to log out. Disconnect the USB cable from your PC and RV50, then return the micro USB connection you unplugged earlier. Then perform a reboot using the Sound Advisor. You can remotely access the system by opening a browser on any device connected to the internet. You use the IP address slash Sound Advisor, capital S, capital A. Now I'm going to show you how to load the LD settings on the RV50. If you purchase the RV50 separately or it has been reset to its default settings, you will need to load the settings manually. The default password is 12345. Go to the security tab and you can see that there are not any ports specified, so let's upload the template. The template is located on the USB drive provided with the system, or can be found online at larsendavis.com or by contacting Larson Davis directly. Upload the file and reboot. Then log back in using the 12345 password. A quick look at the security tab and you can see that the ports are now specified. After this is complete, you can now configure for remote use. The last segment will be about changing the password on the RV50. This is really easy. Go to the admin tab, type in the current password, either the 12345 password or the LD password, and change the password. You will want to record this password because if it is lost, you'll need to reset the gateway, which will require you to upload the LD settings again and configure for remote use again. Both of these procedures can be found in the NMS 044 manual, which is on the USB drive or online at larsendavis.com.